Hi guys, welcome back to another video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm Noelia. I talk about all things curly, beauty, and lifestyle. So for today's video, I'm actually going to go ahead and take down my braids. I know I absolutely love them, but I have so much content I want to film for you guys that I need to take these out because... I just have so many freaking ideas and I'm really excited to start trying different products and just to start filming again because I can't really film much with my braids and they're also starting to get a little, you know, crazy. So I figured let's take down my braids and then I will also style my hair with you guys and share with you guys how I follow up once I take down my braids. So if you guys are interested in seeing that, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, turn on the alerts so you know when I post my next video, and I will drop my social handle so you guys can follow me on there as well, and keep on watching. Alright guys, so let's get started. This is probably the worst part of having braids is taking them off. I hate the process of taking them off, but it is now... 6 43 p.m. so let's see how long it's gonna take me I'm not excited this is literally the most draining part but I can't wait to have these off my head so how I start is I just section my hair off like this and start with the bottom sections and then just work my way up alrighty Let's start with this little guy right here. So what I normally do is I just cut a little bit of my ends where I know my hair isn't, obviously. Just to help with the unraveling process. I actually don't know where my hair stops. And I just start to unravel them. Nothing crazy. I made these super tight so they're not coming off as easy. I'm gonna be here all day. <laughs> Alright, so. You just gotta be really patient because if you're aggressive, you can either A, cut too much off, or B, start ripping your hair. Just be patient, take your time. Bye bye braids. Alrighty, so my first braid is out. I'm gonna repeat the same process. So what I do, I just cut to where I know my hair isn't. I probably could cut a little higher, but it's always better to cut less than to cut more because you never know. I have in the past cut my hair, by the way. Nothing drastic, just like a bit, but it's still not worth it. Don't, just take your time. Now it's a perfect time to either like jam out to music or put on your favorite TV show, Netflix, whatever, because you're gonna be here for quite some time. <laughs> or YouTube videos. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. I just wanna demo this for you guys for now, and then I gotta see what I'm gonna end up watching. I've already unraveled two. I'm gonna go ahead and unravel the rest of these braids and I will come back and check in with you guys once I'm done.
Okay, so it is now 9.31. It took me about three hours to take out my braids, but it feels so good to finally have them out of my head. Let me show you guys how much hair I took off. Can we take a moment? Look at all of this. This is crazy. So yeah, so I took all of this off my head. My head feels so much lighter. So what I'm gonna do, I'm actually going to shampoo and condition, deep condition. I think I might use the Mayel Organics overnight conditioner, the deep conditioner, and obviously leave it in my hair overnight. My hair needs a lot of love, so I feel like that would be perfect. Um, I do feel like I need an Olaplex treatment too, but it's kind of late. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna do all of that today. But I do have to wash my hair because my scalp right now needs so much love. So I'm wondering what I should do. So I think I'm gonna shampoo and condition and deep condition with the overnight deep conditioner and maybe I will do an Olaplex treatment later this week. Not sure, but yeah. Let's get to washing this hair because it is, it is something. Sorry if my lighting is a little off. Um, when I did start taking out my braids, I did have natural light, but not anymore. So we're kind of going based off the lamp in my room, so. guys so it's officially the next day as you guys saw I was finally able to wash my hair and my scalp just feels so good I love using the Trader Joe's tea tree tingle because it just makes my scalp feel super stimulated and just I love the minty feel it feels so fresh so then once I was done shampooing I did follow up with the Mayel moisture Hawaiian moisturizing overnight deep conditioner This left my hair feeling super duper soft and I actually just rinsed it out. I did sleep with the deep conditioner. So I was actually really impressed with how soft my hair was after I washed my hair with the braids because I feel like sometimes my hair is a little aggressive at first but for some reason it felt a lot softer than usual. So I must have been doing a good job at moisturizing my hair while it was in the braids. So since I'm already on the My L wave, I decided I'm actually going to style my hair with the Mayel Pomegranate and Honey Collection. I am so late in the game of styling with Mayel styling products. So I am gonna start off with the leave-in conditioner. This product has so many great reviews online, so I figured why not? I picked this up in my last black-owned product haul, and I'm really excited to try it, so let's see. I love Mayel's masks, I always say that, but I haven't tried their styling products, so let's see how it goes. All right, cool. So let's see what it feels like. Okay. Ooh, so it's kind of watery. I don't know why I make these sound effects. So I'm gonna apply it to the perimeter of my hair first and then I will section my hair off. So surprisingly, I didn't lose as much hair in the shower. I mean, I did lose a pretty decent amount. I forgot to take a picture of it, but I did lose a decent amount. I mean, I didn't wash my hair for two and a half weeks. So, I mean, not two and a half weeks. I didn't wash my hair for about a week, almost two weeks. I had my braids in for 13 days instead of 14 days. So, I mean, I expected that. But yeah, so I, I did expect to lose a lot more hair, but I don't know. I guess that's a good thing I didn't lose as much. So I am going to start by sectioning off my hair, just how I normally style my hair. If you guys hear banging in the background, we are getting work done to the house, so that's why I'm not in my typical space, I'm just in my bedroom. 
Yeah, my hair feels super soft, guys. Like that mask, it did everything. I am absolutely obsessed. If you guys are looking for an overnight mask, that one is perfect. So I'm gonna add a little bit more of the leave-in. It smells really good. It smells very summery, very fruity. Love the scent. Doesn't feel overbearing. Yeah, it smells really good. All right, now I'm gonna brush it through using the Curl Keeper Flexi Brush. few pumps to the other side as well. So I am going to pair the leave-in with the pomegranate and honey coil sculpting custard. Another product that had amazing reviews so I figured why not pair the two together. So it's going to be a Myel wash day. I just didn't shampoo and condition with Myel but we styled with Myel and deep conditioned. Okay, so this is the consistency. I do not want to drop it because I'm like the queen of dropping things. Seems like a jelly-like consistency. So let's see how this works in my hair. Let me just take about this much and apply it to my section. Ooh. Keep in mind, this is the first time I try this product. I am going to take smaller sections just so I can distribute it a lot better. It feels really nice in my hair. Yeah, we're gonna take smaller sections so that, that way we can actually distribute this better and I don't have to go overboard on applying too much product. I tend to apply way too much product, especially when I have bigger sections because I just wanna make sure that it evenly gets distributed into my hair. So I feel like the best way to do it is to do smaller sections and just distribute it that way. But overall, okay. Look at it so far, guys. Okay, we shall see. I always go based off my dry results right now. It looks very good, but I've had my hair look super bomb and turn out so crazy, but We'll see. My hair feels super soft though, so the custard is definitely not sticky at all. It kind of feels, I don't even know how to explain it. It feels, if anything, it's not gonna leave any crunch into my hair. So, we'll see. Let's keep adding this in. And with the other side, I grab a little bit more of the custard. These are the two sections so far. Can't really tell. Let's see if we can get a better light. My room lighting is not the best. But all in all right now it feels super soft. I'm excited to see how they dry. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my hair. You guys know the drill. I'm gonna go ahead and speed up the rest of the video. And once I'm done, I will show you guys how my wet results look and then we will figure out if I'm gonna air dry or diffuse. All right guys, so these are my wet results. So I definitely have a lot more volume than I'm used to for when my hair is wet, but it seems like it's gonna dry very, very pretty. I am more into 
more of not I wouldn't say frizzy but I'm more into like a less defined look just more like a what's the word so I have been looking for more lightweight products that give me the definition and give me the hold but doesn't give me a flat look if that makes sense so we'll see how this dries but overall it's very pretty super shiny and it smells really good my hair really loves these products. I think it's because the products have honey in it and my hair is absolutely obsessed with honey. So let's see how it turns out. I think I'm gonna go ahead and diffuse this just to see how it turns out because I don't think I'm gonna be outside today so I might as well just diffuse. And I will come back and check in with you guys once I'm done. Okay, come through volume. Guys, I have not even picked at my hair. This is just my natural volume from those two products. Look at the definition within this volume though. So this is typically my day four or day five volume and I got it on day one. So I'm kind of here for it. So my definition is pretty bomb. My hair feels super soft. Like I said, there's not, there's little to no crunch. Look at this guys. So, I'm kind of loving these results. Again, my hair feels super soft and definitely super hydrated. I wanted to use products that were definitely more on the moisturizing side, just because since like my hair was in braids for so long, I feel like I needed a wash and go like this. My hair feels super light, super airy, but yet super moisturized. So okay, my L Organics, come through with these results. I am super pleased. Yes, it's a lot more voluminous than what I'm used to for day one. But a little volume never hurt nobody. We are super here for this. And it's actually so pretty. It's so pretty. I love this. Do I recommend that product duo? Definitely. I now have a product duo that if I want more volume on day one, I know which two to pick up. Like guys, like hello, what is this? I'm just, I can't hear you over this volume. Psych. But yeah, I really love this. It's super pretty. I just need to get a haircut because I honestly feel like I don't have a shape anymore. It's kind of looking a little awkward. I have a haircut scheduled for August, so let's see. I kind of look like I have bangs right now, but I don't. I don't know what is going on. But I am very pleased with these results. And yes, so I definitely recommend. So I do feel like I might have used a little bit too much of the custard because my hands definitely feel pretty sticky when I go like this. Um, but nonetheless, it still feels super soft, moisturized, so I can't complain. I just naturally am very heavy-handed when it comes to applying products. And when it comes to applying a gel or a custard and I don't see like instant results, I feel like I have to keep applying. But that's not always necessarily the case. For me though, I'm always just like, okay, if it doesn't look up to par when it's wet, so I can only imagine what it's going to look like dry. So, yeah. But all in all, let me show you guys my side results like hello I'm not sure if this lighting is doing it justice like I said I'm getting work done in the house so I can't really move around <laughs> I'm just pretty stagnant right now so I can only film in my bedroom but yeah guys these are my final results we're here for this we are here for this I am so happy to have these braids out I mean I love having braids don't get me wrong but there is nothing like being able to like really wash your hair. Like I was living yesterday when I was washing my hair because I've this year I've become more big on scalp health. And every curly is going to tell you the key to hair growth is scalp health, making sure your scalp is healthy, making sure your scalp is always fresh, clean. That'll definitely promote hair growth. So for me, like my scalp is everything. I do scalp massages, I do scalp treatments, I just give my scalp a hell of love. So being in braids, I don't like to really wash my hair when I have braids, which is why I don't keep them in super long because I feel like once I wash them, they just get like, you know? So I always tend to just like try to push them as far as I can. So yeah, so that's that. But yeah, guys, that is all for today's video. I hope you guys liked it. If you guys did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below if you've used this combo or if you've used it any other way, just so I can get different ideas of what products pair well with these. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.